In the meantime, we've watched this war in Ukraine for some time now, General. And this war, um, in part, is dragging on because warfare has changed. And drones are a significant part of this. We are set to buy a million drones from the U.S. Army. Uh, what do you know about this and how much further does it go? Well, the Army's been at transition uh, based on the uh, drone warfare and its dominance on the battlefield for the last 18 months. I've seen four of their exercises, one in Germany, uh, one in the United States, in uh, Louisiana. I was, just, I was just out to the desert in California watching it there and, and, and the jungle in, uh, in Hawaii. And they're going to do another one in the Arctic in, in February. So the Army is taking a different path here than what they've done in the past. Usually we go to the schoolhouse, conceptualize something that's new, experiment it, test with it. And, and work out the bugs and then start giving it to our units. So what, what the chief of staff in the Army is doing, he's telling the division commanders, we are going to make this change simultaneously in your region of the world where you are deployed, whether it's in the United States, Europe, uh, the Pacific, or in the Arctic. And we're doing that and exchange that information. And I've never seen anything quite like it. And, and as, as I've said, I've seen four of these exercises. What has happened here is drones uh, dominate the battlefield, as you indicated, and, it, and it's resulted in positional warfare. What you get is persistent surveillance from drones. In other words, they can see a soldier kill him, they can see an artillery piece kill it, see a command post kill it, see a formation kill it. Why? Because you very responsive rockets, missiles, artillery, bombs, precision fires follow that persistent surveillance. What the Army is trying to do, and that has resulted in positional warfare. We've We've talked about it here, trench warfare like we saw in World War I. The Russians and Ukrainians cannot maneuver their systems effectively, so they infiltrate against each other at night. What the Army is, is working with to break that mold, the Army fights in layers, like the Marine Corps does, not at just the vision level, but at core level and JTF level, beyond the battalion and brigade. 